One of the things that many people don't want to talk about is price. And I think that's one of the limiting factors in people thinking about whether they want to do this. So I'm going to talk to you about something that nobody else is going to talk to you about. And that's the price of the Botox and the fillers and uh, the Xeomin. So uh, join us. The other topic I'd like to talk about is cost. Some people ask me, what is the cost of removing the, this area here, right? This uh, sort of where the Xeomin or the Botox. Well, I'm gonna give you kind of a general range. I'm gonna go with 200 to about $300. We're looking at about, you know, people start from about 10 to 15 units. Sometimes you, uh, it's $15 a unit. Uh, typically people get 20 to, to 30 units in an area. I'm not, some uh, recommending more closer to 45 to 50 units. Um, you know, everybody's different. Uh, some people can go down to $8 a unit. I've seen that on some Groupons. Uh, that's one option for you. So you're looking at like somewhere where, let's say 200 to $300 for uh, some Botox. And that's gonna get those forehead lines, that labella area, those 11s, and then those um, uh, crow's feet around where the, Bicularis oculi, which is basically the muscle around the eye. Now, if you want to put in some uh, fillers, let's say you wanted to get the tear trough, for example, we can probably do the tear trough um, for approximately about $400 to get that taken care of. If you wanted to do the cheeks, so kind of get those cheeks lifted up, that's $700, even though um, you may think that that's a lot of money. The, actually, the this, uh, movement or this change from the drooping of the cheeks to this sort of semicircle changes a whole lot more than you think. It uh, not only takes up the cheeks and builds it up, but also sometimes removes the nasal labial folds and improves the marionette lines because everything is pulled up and the cheeks are looking much better. So um, this cost may seem a little bit pricey, but believe it or not, it's worth it for, for that. Now, if someone has really bad, you might, multiply, you might wanna multiply that by two if it's really bad because then you're doing both sides, which obviously you're doing, but sometimes you can take one syringe and split it if, if the patient doesn't have it too bad. The nasal labial folds are the same situation. I mean, you're, you're looking anywhere between 400 to about, um, I'd say $800 for that as well. Depends on how many syringes you use and how much you're, you're kind of putting in. And again, the Marinette lines are about the same. So, I mean, think about those prices when you're coming into the, doc, you know, the, the doctor's office and you know, maybe uh, it's gonna be up a little bit, a little bit less, um, and you may need more or less. So just kind of gives you a general idea of what the price ranges are.